Please ensure that the vehicle is properly secured against rolling away before performing maintenance work. It is imperative that you pull up the parking brake and use wheel chocks. For your own safety, use at least one jack stand. The car jack is only used for lifting and lowering. Now release the parking brake again. Check all relevant components in the area of the axle and the pneumatics. Remove the pad retaining brackets. The piston must be reset using the adjusting shaft until a clicking sound can be heard. The brake pads can then be removed without any difficulty. Determine the brake disc thickness using a suitable measuring tool. The brake disc must not fall short of the minimum thickness up to the end of the service life of the new brake pad. Also, check the brake disc for damage. If there is visible damage on the brake disc, it must be changed as necessary. The manufacturer's instructions must be observed here. Remove the axle nut to be able to pull the brake disc from the wheel hub. Clean the caliper carrier. The wheel hub must then be cleaned and checked for damage. Before assembling a new brake disc, it must also be lightly coated with a non-conductive heat-resistant metal-free paste. Disconnect the disc from the wheel bearing and then clean the contact surface. Check the bearing for damage and clearance. Remove any oil on the new brake disc. Assemble the brake disc onto the wheel bearing. Tighten the bolts hand tight. Carefully slide the brake disc onto the wheel hub. Assemble the central nut and tighten with the tightening torque specified by the manufacturer. Check the runout. Clean the system and guide surfaces. A thin layer of non-conductive heat-resistant and metal-free paste is then applied to the guide surfaces. Tighten the caliper bolts with the relevant torque. Before assembling the brake cylinder, the rubber gasket must be checked for damage. Tighten the nuts with the specified torque. Only use the enclosed accessories. To adjust the clearance, turn the adjuster until the pad is free of pressure. Then turn back one or two clicks and check the clearance with a gauge.
Apply compressed air to the brake caliper and then tighten the wheel bearing bolts crosswise with the torque specified by the manufacturer. Note, all maintenance and repair work may only be performed by qualified specialists. The regulations for the vehicle and brake system manufacturers for repair and maintenance must be followed.